We right. love hip hop. For people who are looking for a top five update. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, a top five? Let me hear what you got. <laughs> right? He, Let me hear what you got. He, they're the they the right now. Yeah. They're making them stand trials, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's not like I I felt this before, mm-hmm. and and you know I I've I hope for the best for anybody in this situation, any situations, right? But I felt that it wasn't looking too good, and this is why he might have went so low on the radar. You know what I'm saying? I was I was even saying when I was doing the live by myself with the flipper incident, right? Mm-hmm. Where I think we were talking about on the podcast. Yes, we were about yes with, with, about with, the with episode three sixty. Yeah, with, with with the with the lawyer situation and stuff like that. Like, yeah. this is his um, lawyer, Kim oh, Schofield, right? Oh, so that's why he's It might like, not be looking good for any of them, fam. Like, Flippa's case is already done. He has the next one that's up now, right? But, like, his major case, that's already done, wrapped up in the books, gaveled down, right? If she was representing him for any of it, she didn't, for in his opinion, do the job that he wanted, so now he's mad. Well, hold right? on. Well, hold on. But it might be not just for him. It might be like, yo, him and five. It's looking spooky, because from what I this news that I got, like if the judge is like, yo, we're, we we got to go and t- stand on trial for the M. Yeah, that's spooky, fam. Yo, dog, spooky hours. Yeah, and, I, and I, after that interaction, I won't say what was said in the courtroom, but it mm-hmm. wasn't the best in his favor to make him look that much better you know what oh, i'm saying oh shit. man had kind of an outburst you know what i'm saying so Word, yeah. it's 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 gonna it's looking i i listen like i said i want the that, best for everybody but it's but we have to be living reality my g that's bad when you do outburst in uh in any type of yes court situation bro they'll just judge will just like boom insanity send him to cam h or they'll just <laughs> be like that? fuck you like no, no, no. You're not just you're not respecting our the juris, ju, judicial system. You're off it. We're off. You're out of here. Yeah, they bury you after that, and mm-hmm. then they and then then uh they swallow the key. Yeah, they literally put the key down. They'll be like, you wanna, bro? It's too many times. Swallow it. Like you gotta remember, this nigga was doing not hundreds of thousands, millions of views. Yeah, like all his music videos have a million plus views on them. I Some know. of them have five million on him. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But let's see. He was a popular, popular rapper out here. Whether you liked his music or not, he was super popping out here, fam. You know what I'm saying? So unfortunate, because now when you're in when you're in the penitentiary, that's all you're gonna be talking about for the next uh, like the rest of your life. Fam. Nah, man. I get. I see. Like I we all want to hope for I the don't, best. I don't, because yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to speak like that. I don't want to speak like I'm 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 Mr. Fucking Perfect. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's just just it looks keep, spooky, fam. Yeah, it's gonna be spooky. But he he needs to if he ever hears this, just keep praying, dog. Yeah, because you know what I mean. If you know you're innocent, the only thing God is teaching you is the lesson of when He was trying to humble you, you didn't take the warning, so yeah. He's humbling you in the way of that you have to learn. So if you know you're innocent, don't worry. You come out one day, God will. Through God, you'll get that, right? But he has to teach you your lessons. You know what I'm saying? Um, if that is the case, you know, that's the best advice I can give somebody. In yeah. that, like, you know what I mean? If you're innocent, right? But God's going to give you your lessons because you're running around doing your thing. You're rapping. You're doing your thing. But you know what I mean? You let the street kind of give you, knock you off your pivot a bit where you had, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bro, so there's you- not one Toronto rapper who has been able, like, from that underground scene, like, he's more popping than... And with all due respect to Pre- Pressa, he has bigger numbers than Pressa, who's on road with a deal, right? Mm-hmm. So like, when rappers get to the promised land in Toronto, it's like almost like, yo, you better your your time is ticking, fam, because yeah. jail or or unfortunate unaliving is coming next. Well, that's if it's almost like a black cloud over this place, fam. Well, that's only if you want to make it like that. Your 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 world is your oyster, bro. You're supposed to make your 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 the what you live in the now your reality so if you're chucking badness be prepared for badness to happen i guess so yeah so yeah right so but if you're if you're walking with with positivity and you're making the music for a deed like for to get your family out of this for real and 
to get you some plaques and to get you in a better position and to see it come to light, then nah, dog, you're not going to get stopped. You're going to go. Because yeah. there's a lot of rappers that go, eh? They no, put, they, they put sure. their, from Toronto, they put their head down. They didn't get into no, no fuckery. And they said, yo, I'm going to make it in my way, mm -hmm. in my way. And they get away from the city. They live. They could be still here in the city. You just don't know when they drop in because they're not on their ground being like, ah, yeah, 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 I'm on your block spinning. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like A lot of that is energy that he's bought to himself. Yeah, and, and that's what I said. Like, oh, fam. It's a mod thing, fam. Like, the, the most successful or, like, there's no successful underground Toronto rappers who are not uh, sitting in jail deceased or have had to deal with some kind of a bid at some point like long bid mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying does that make you really an, uh, a surty rapper does it really i does it even is it do you think that even some of these these younger guys who are watching feel that they have to get some kind of stripes to even be that's taken not, seriously as a rapper that's not stripes because that's not stripes because some of these guys the quote they, unquote stripes okay because there's a lot of rappers who are so-called rappers and then when they get in there, a lot of them are getting fucking fubbed, bro. And Whoop. then you fub, beat up. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crack yeah, off yeah. range, all types of shit. So like, and then 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 they come out and then try to make a, a post. And then you see in the comments, yo, shut up, bro. You were getting your head dumped in toilets and da 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 you cracked off range. You just hear it all. So do you really want that stigma behind you? Does that make me want to listen to your music? Fuck no. I'd rather a nigga that, that never got touched. Yeah. That never been to jail. You know what I mean? Who's not even on that. They, they could be talking the most shit, but never been there because they a fucking made man or some shit. They're really running the persona. You know how, I mean? how much of those, how much there's of the time that even happened? There's none. There's none. You got to be faking the funk. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. This is where keeping it real can go wrong. <laughs> so why don't you just, uh. so why don't you just keep yourself tamed? Keep yourself walking with the, 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 the the obediency that your fucking parents taught you and brought you when they came over to Canada, all of our parents came here mm -hmm. with. You know what I'm saying? They didn't come here to see us in jail and shit. They came here to see us, even if we want to rap, they came here to see you be successful, right? Any parent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you let down a lot of lot of a lot of young rappers or young are that are going to jail, they're letting down not only their peers, they're letting down their parents. Oh, big time. Big time. Yeah, because we all talk about, and I'm going to also preface this with RIP to the young gentleman who who lost his life in this situation. Yes. But like, we all talk about, yo, we're not going to be able to to get their music, yo. Oh, why that nigga do that stupid shit and put himself in jail? But all of these people have parents, fam. Yeah, or for fam. the most of them have parents that, that are like, yo, well, well go on. Like, that, okay, now You that, guys look at him as a rapper, but I look at him as whatever his government name is. Ah, and I'm paying his bill for his lawyer. On Oh, shit, all that. How do I, you get what I'm saying? All the chains. I'm the one who's really holding him down. I'm the one who's really holding it down. Mm. You understand? Those it's, collect calls are coming to his to his parents' crib dudes. or whoever's parents' crib. You know what I'm saying? No much, enough of my brethren have sons that are in in the bingo hall right now, eh? Yeah. And, and yo, they're they're active. They were they're active dads, but they've been in their sons' lives. But their sons now are in certain things. Yo, fam, none of their girls are there to hold them down. Mm hmm. None of their girlfriends, they were out, all the girls, they were fucking every night. None of them, they don't know where they have, where are they? Their brethren and them are in the same type of position, can't yeah. even feed themselves, right? So yeah, it looks cool in the videos and shit, but you know what it is. Half these niggas, this one little bingy spliff they have, it could be their only spliff. The whole video, they're smoking it. Like, I know what's up. I've been there before. You know what I'm saying? I've been there before. So I know what's up. Can't fool. You can't bullshit a bullshit a nigga. You know what I'm saying? So this is where keeping it real could go around with a lot of kids that are in the bingo hall. They, you Bro, know? all of these guys who came in from that, let's say, if you were going to call it like a freshman class, mm. like the 2015 freshman class, yeah, all of them mans have had to touch the bing or are not here anymore like for a certain amount of time. You know what I'm saying? Or like sitting in the bing to this day. Like, mm. fam, Casper just came home. K Money is just about to touch road, right? Or just about to get back active with the music thing. Mm -hmm. Those guys had substantial, substantial heat in the game, had to go sit down for three. Bizloke ain't here no more. We're talking about five. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just a ting, fam. Like, yeah. all of these street niggas, it's like, 
all those niggas who came in from those times, fam. Yeah. When they started talking about like, yo, all these underground rappers are getting a million views, and yo, yeah, holy, yeah. Leo, there's a scene out here. All of them niggas crop out, fam. I know they couldn't hold the pressure because what it is is sometimes I'm telling you the truth. Local city, same thing, fam. All of these niggas, bro, like. Northside Benji, Benji, he's still there. He's doing his thing. He's out of here. He's out. Right. He's out of the country. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But where's Houdini, my nigga? All right, peace, man. Come on, bro. Like, yo, fam, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And enough of these niggas who I've interviewed over the years. The yo, Tizzy Stacks mm. inside his nigga who was sitting next to him. R.I.P. Steno, yeah. deceased. Ganos. Broski, yo, it's a mod thing. Like the amount of like, I actually even feel some some of the collateral like because I collateral damages because I interact with a lot of these oh. gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah. fam, I've met a lot of Toronto rappers who are not in a good situation right now, fam. I know that's crazy, really? fam. Like all of those that age group of yeah. guys, yeah, they're all fucked or have been fucked at some point so, and are just touching roads. So, what? This is I, crazy. I, I feel I, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, you know what I mean? You, you, I'm not, anybody knows who really knows me knows how I'd say it to you. It's like, I fuck with, I fuck with everybody, right? I fuck with, I fuck with that shit. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, I know that shit and I know it doesn't get you nowhere. Yeah. So it's just like, okay, you go through it, you go through it. But the best part about going through those things is, what did you learn? And if you learned, then you know how to do your thing right and never go back. Then. Yeah, yeah. All right? Now, if you think I'm going to listen to your music because you went to jail, I don't care about you being in the, in the dick yard, dog. I don't care about you going to the dick farm, dog. That's not, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, that, 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 ain't, that, 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 that's not, that doesn't make you cool to me. What makes me cool is if you're teaching me on a record how you got some paper and how what you did with it, and yeah. now I can go to the side store and then you say the name of the place you own and I'm going to it now. Yeah. on your records because you know you know what i'm saying because there's a there's an element of your surprise right now the, the there's no surprise anymore to me when i hear a nigga talking about um spinning and doing what he got to do right yeah. like there's no, there's no there's no really like me me being like okay let me open up the rest of this guy's catalog right hey, fam, so, we have a generation of felons bro I'm like, I, yeah, and, but they're still, but still, they can be a fel. Uh, yo, bro, I grew up with enough felons and shit too. They're yeah. the smartest people, fam. They're, like, they can. I'm make not saying that. I'm just saying like all of these rappers. Because yeah. even while we're we're talking, I'm thinking like, you know, I just released a piece on Bully. He's yeah. not here, fam. I know. You know what I'm saying? I know. Like OTA solo OTA who was in the, the who I mentioned in the Bully interview, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. He went through a bunch of shots. You know what I'm saying? He he went through a court case and like. There's so many rappers who I've interviewed that their story is I was on house arrest and I, that's when I started rapping. Like, yeah. yo, fam, it's almost like as soon as you start becoming a rapper or like when you're living in Toronto as a young black male, especially, they have jail destined for as part of your pathway. Very much so. Especially I if you want to step a little bit outside of the lines, it's a wrap for you. Like your time is ticking, fam. You know what I'm saying? Very much so. And especially if they 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 caught you in the system as young like when you're 14 in the yo juvenile systems like yeah that, if they can, like that's press nyg story yeah like that that's how they got they like when i was young coming up that's exactly how they got a lot of us right yeah you know they used to come fucking line us up bro take your yeah. picture right there boom 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 the thing bam and yg boom. look at him put it in their, their book one of, you. one of the biggest rappers out here right for the toronto scene this man was on the run, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, there's not but one he Toronto. Actually, he actually boogied. <laughs> he boogied, and, you know, he beat the case and everything. Yeah, you know, we see him. He's still here. But, like. That's real. Fam, every Toronto rapper has, like, or, don't get me wrong. There's a bunch of rappers who don't have these stories. But the majority of these niggas who are popping out here have some tragic stories, fam. It's crazy, fam. So what is the glorification of it, though? What What are we... What does that make them? Does that glorify anything? Does that make, what does that make? How does it, that, it, what does it should that be resonate? a deterrent to any kid who's trying to get into the street, to be honest. Oh, like you, like as a kid. If you're watching these niggas and these are the guys uh, who you admire, 
Yeah. You have to look at their their the end game or the end story of all of these guys. Like mm. nobody's story ends out with a happy ending, with a, fam. With a great including bang. the person who's like on the like right above us on the screen, fam. Everybody's story ends up fucked up for the guys who like people my bad. People so, who we fuck with the most. So what are what is the end results to this? Or what are we gonna show the kid? What are we showing a younger generation right Go now? Go get a job, fam. It's okay too. It's okay too. It's not it ain't no shame in getting yeah. no nine to five pay, bro. Ain't it, no you shame ain't no you're not a loser, you're not a geek, fam. Like not yo, begging fam, nobody like, no spliff. Like this orange <laughs> suit thing that like you see what the man's rocking here and all that, like yeah. you can make it look as cool as you wanna make it look. look. Right, but the only reason you're doing that is because that's the only thing you have to wear, my. Yeah, I know. So you're gonna. So now I freaked it with a uh, as a do rag, and t- t- now tomorrow I'm gonna make it with the, turn it into shorts or whatever. Yeah. But you're not rocking the Balenciaga and your hundred pairs of sneakers and all that shit that well, you got at home. Well, yeah, but he's in you have the same blue shoes. But like, even when you get to the to the pen, fam, yeah. you have a limit of the amount About of money of stuff that you're allowed to spend. Yes. Remember, I've done this time, yeah. right? Yeah. So now they might even price down your shit. But yeah. 20 years later, you still have the same shit from when you got an intake, bro, and maybe a uh, couple more things. So now you're looking like when you first came in, you're still rocking those clothes. Now you're a relic. You know what I'm saying? Holy. I met a nigga who was in there from the 90s. Okay. Still wearing exhaust? Still wearing he had the the, the Malcolm X thing on the back Ooh. of his uh yeah, yeah. of of his um jean sh- um jean vest. That was like 1993 cross color shit. You know what I'm saying? He's this is what this nigga's wearing inside there because that's when he went inside. Fuck. And then you know what people forget about you over the time, bro. Come ten, on, fam. Ten years go by. You think anybody fucking remembers you after that? Like, Holy People are gone out with their life. You're not gonna get to wear all the Gucci and Ferragamo and all that stuff. You might get one piece, two piece yeah. in there. If your sister, you better and for you. and and, and then to, to look good for who? For the rest of the man them on range. And they have, oh, we smoke this guy, yo. You may as well give where the institution thing that they gave you I that know. they still give you for when you're when you're in in the pen too. Fuck. It, oh, there's no me. upside, my G. I didn't even, yo. There is none. That's why I asked you what. It was. <laughs> like niggas should be like, even when I, when I bring this up, it's not yeah. to, to like I want the best for everybody, and I see it again. Yes, you do. But this is a learning. This is a teachable moment. Thank like you. this shit is not the fucking what is cracked up to be, bro. It's definitely not, bro. Especially when you gotta go do time now for the rest of your life. Let's say with a bagaman. Holy dog! I would. I think I. Oh, I don't know. I've met lifers, fam. There, and then a lot of them are well adjusted, but yeah. I don't know how what's going on in their head when they sleep at night. Oh man, well they're well adjusted. I knew I had a I had an end date. Yeah, I just and my end date was soft in compared to yeah. to they at mean, least having to do the first eighteen that, years of your sentence or whatever yeah. shit. Like, fam, what them the niggas, hell? Them niggas learn how to make pocket pussies and shit, nigga. Yeah. Uh, bro, you, you've been there for so long, dog. You know your imagination can run very wild. Believe you me. And all that talk when people are like, yo, because remember, enough of our slang comes from, from inside. I, I learned this when I went in. Mm-hmm. That enough of our slang, enough of our, the way we move comes from inside and it That's bleeds crazy. back outside. That's fucked up. Right? But <laughs> so we, we take of, all of that. But the reason that is because the niggas outside look at some of those terms and all that. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yo, man, them are on the range and we were making punch. And, oh, my God. Man, them are on the range. We're making punch. Yo, we make the story sound cool. But fam. Niggas go in their in their in their in their cell and go cr- cry in the fucking in the in the in, on the bunk, fam. You know what I'm saying? So no matter how much war stories they're telling you when they get home, yeah. they weren't having a good time, fam. Nah. They just made the best of the okay. time they had. Yeah, I believe that. You know what I'm saying? I know that, fam. Like I know that it ain't sweet for these young niggas, fam. Like mm. if you have a choice, you don't worry about what niggas tell you. Because you're working a nine to five. I'm because work- when you come home after your bid, they're gonna make you do a nine to five, five, or you're going back to jail, fam. I know, and they're gonna have you in a in a shitty spot where a nigga gonna come in and be like, "Hey, yo, it's gonna be you? hard for you to get a job because you went to jail." I know. Construction is probably the only route. Now you're in a cycle. Wow. Now you can't even get a job because you were trying to be cool and you caught some time. I'm on I'm on the range with the man them. Yeah, but right. when you come home, now your life's fucked. Because nobody will hire you, but they want you to get a job, and if because you won't, they send you back in. Yeah, yeah. And your name, your name back in the day, and don't hold weight no more. 
The bitch you used to fuck getting. She got, been got, fucked a hundred times since you've been got, inside, got fam. Donkey fuck. You ain't getting trailer visits, everything. bro. You're beating your you, you your hands your wife now, fam. Yeah, nah, you, you have a pocket pussy. Been there, fam. I wasn't even there as long as these niggas and, and was like, holy shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. When I you know. find out your bitch want to fuck somebody else while you're inside, fam, she you gone. don't sleep that night, bro. Holy, she gone like a thief in the night. Been there, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all youngers want to want to deal with that. Oh, you know can. what I'm saying? The girl you're laying up next to right now, she she, you know what I'm saying? She's not gonna be there when you mm -hmm. if she finds out that you got twenty. And then she has your phone and she sees you already talking to North Gal in the DM. Oh, oh, oh my God. When oh, she finally goes through there and she's like, oh, this is what you've been doing for real the whole time? Well, you know what? How do you expect the bitch to hold you down? I've been fucking SK. <laughs> You're asking too much of her at this point. She went through your, your, through your account, seen all your DMs. And now you're saying, hold me down, baby? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, SK's over here digging it right now. Yeah, I'll hold you down, but I'm going to get some dick at the same time. SK. That's what's going to happen. SK. Just know that, my niggas. Like, this is what's going to happen to you when you go inside. Yep. And it doesn't even have to be a 20 piece. It could be five. Right. She's going to fuck somebody. Yep. And she might be gone. Turn your neck and your dame. No, missing. fam, she'll still take your calls. But your yeah. phone, your phone's yeah. cut off after eight o'clock, fam. Yeah. We don't know what's happening after eight, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. talking from experience. From eight to eight, you're like, yeah, fam. You're not getting on the phone with Shorty after eight o'clock, fam. So yeah. you gotta trust her after eight o'clock, my niggas. <laughs> how, no matter how many years you're doing, brother. Holy shit, dog. You just say fuck it. See, the best thing is go get a job. Yeah, go get a job. You better have be the player. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Most bad man don't have money. By the time like the three years goes by, money run out. Yo, fam, jail sucks, fam. Yeah. And I had a baby. I had baby time. Tod not even toddler time. Newborn baby time, fam. Well, I can't even imagine them niggas who got football numbers, fam. I don't care how tough they act Bro, in court. They're, they're ball, hurting, they fam. Ball. Them they're ball. hurting. They them ball, niggas that bro. um from the triple X thing the other day, mm. and the way they were like sitting there unremorseful in the courtroom. Yeah. Yo, fam, when he gets back on range, fam, and he's by himself, he... <laughs> big, big, big nigga, like, now you want to cry, nigga? I'll give you something to cry about. No, fam, you got to keep it super low because he will get crushed. Of course. Right? He's been, you tough, right? Yeah. So you got to hold that in, yeah. all that. You've been pr playing tough all this time. Yeah. Even when they give you the time, you still got to play tough, tough or you're fool. Wow, look at how your life has to end up now. Every day you got to play tough. Who want to live like that, fam? Fuck, you don't just want to chill sometimes. <laughs> you can't. You're in jail. Niggas will shank you if you I chill. I know. I know. I know. I'm just saying. Right? Don't so you... now this is what you wanted. Because when you wanted to be the hardest nigga on the block, you wanted to be the coolest nigga. You know what I'm saying? Now you have to live by terms where you could never like sleep peacefully until you touch road again. What? Even that you're probably having night terror after that. The fuck? Come Even on, bro. That. Even that you're probably just like you know, probably when, you know you you have a woman and she touches you and you're probably getting all weird now. Yeah, fam. You, know I mean? you remember that movie? Um, yeah. Was it American Me or whatever with the the the, the Spanish dude? Yeah. And then he came home and he started smashing short and yep. he flipped her over. And over. He, she started going. He started going crazy. She was like, "Whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa!" Because he started thinking about some, some jail. Yeah, some our wild, words. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Some like, wild stuff, right? Man, man went back into his. Brain. I remember seeing that shit in the nineties. I was like. What's this nigga going through? This is bro? crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is crazy. And know? I'm talking about Canadian jail, bro. Mm -hmm. To me, in the end of the day, because I've been there, it's still a cakewalk in comparison to what I hear about them niggas down south, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a different. <laughs> then they probably give you your body back as soon as you reach those places, right? Fam, and no matter what, in the end of the day, mm. even though it still happens, right? The R words. People still get R worded in Most, Canadian yeah. prisons, yeah, yeah. but it's super small percentage. Like yeah. it's it's not a thing. No. It's not like you're running around like, no. oh, I need to put soap on a rope because I'm in jail. Da, da. Like no. No, 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 no. That's too. You niggas is watching too much Oz, yeah. or that's what's going on down south. Yeah, 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 for sure. We're privileged to live in Canada because yeah. at least we don't gotta watch our booty when we in there. Well, 
that's a that's the thing. If you if you if the nigga is a bitch already, then he a bitch. He going in there as a, if he was a bitch on road, he a bitch in there. Yeah, right? but like, like you, we're not seeing like these stories of guys who get turned into to to get out them yeah, and like, like that happens down south, LA, all the different you'd places. Be, you'd like, be surprised. You'd be surprised. There probably is. It's just that they're on like the the mental war, the mental side of things. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. And they end up in the places. So. It's just far and few in between yeah. in comparison to that like American a bug, shit, like bro. A bug, a bug get, like, a bug is going to get ran off her range. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, but you see what I'm saying? You still could get your ass poked up in that bitch. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. But you know what I mean? you're not going to be like, oh, I was in the shower, and then they rushed me and tried to, and then, no, you no, know, no. they violated me. Like, whoa. Well, like, well, yo, nah, dude. fam, you got to be like Tallahassee or the Tennessee yeah. jail or yeah. one of them prisons there where they- Where white they, supremacy <laughs> and shit <laughs> wanted. Because when I watch them things in those, those movies in the States, I'm like- Crazy. Yo, what am I and them so horny in jail, fam? Why do they want to just smash each other, fam? Like, no, go on, fam. <laughs> like, no, but fam, I've been to jail here, and like niggas ain't like, no. Uh, like, no, fam, they just go f- get magazines or something like, yeah, beat yeah, off, be, fam, beat be your meat. But uh, but like, hey. that's the thing, you know. In in those places, it's already a wild zoo. It's already a zoo. So yeah. maybe that's the mental. Maybe that's just really the mental, and that's the 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 intimidation. That you have, like, you know what I mean? Oh, watch out. That motherfucker will flip you over and fuck you in your ass. Like, don't go, hey, hey, Pause. But that nigga, hey, don't go in the water. Don't go. But, hey, when you see them niggas going in the shower, you do not go there. Yeah. All right. Cash 22 says it's because they have a bigger population. Of course. I think that's true. But I also think that the majority of the black people that are here, mm. we come from Caribbean cultures. We're like, we're like, we don't play that. Nah. Right? Yeah. So... When the average man is, you know, their parents are Jamaican, Bajan, Grenadian, whatever, whatever, like that's already not ever been a thing. You know no, what I'm saying? No, no, but the thing is, it's the fact of what you were doing on road, and then they, the P mans can find out you could be, you could have been eating gal's body. Then you're getting fucked up too. Yeah, Niggas shit like that. Fucking you up and shit. Yeah. Like that's, that's like shit that. You know, or you did some fuck shit in some neighborhoods and you have ops and everything and then you get up in there and you get fucked up. Like, yeah. that's more what's going on in here, down here. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's not like, oh, they caught you in the showers and boom, boom, know. boom, boom, boom. They that's, ran a train on you. Like, whoa. That's crazy. Like, I've been seeing that in the movies and I'm like, that's why? I, you know, what's going on? And then that's you guys a, come home and you're like, I'm straight. Like, no, you ain't. No, you're not. No, you ain't. If that's where you went when you were in jail, that's the way your mind went. Yeah. That's where you were you're always going to go, yeah, fam. Yeah, 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 dick factory. You're in a dick factory. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, just because you were locked up for a certain amount of years, that was your alternative? Nah, fam. When you were home, you were thinking about you doing already, that too. You probably already doing it. I'm, uh, listen, because we're going to be giving it up eventually. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Right? <laughs> this is what I believe. When niggas be trying to say that there's institutional homosexuality and all that, yeah. that's capery, fam. Wow. You were already that way. Already and dead. now you had to say, oh, it came out of me when I was in jail. But when I'm home, I'm still fuck you up. I ain't like that. I only fuck chicks. No, you don't. No, no, no. Stop no. lying to yourself, fam. But, Just live your truth. Yeah, but then you're not, you're not beating me up. That's for sure. I'm kicking your motherfucking ass. <laughs> I fucking find that shit up. I'm going to fucking fuck you up, nigga. I don't no, give a shit what but, you think. But I'm not believing the bullshit that bullshit. like you're insti- you you were only that institutionally me, you, that that's why you decided to because you were locked up around men for so long. Like, come on, fam. Yeah. I don't give a I, fuck how long I'm locked up around nah, a dude. I'm not going to be like, well, no, that booty no, long. I'm like, just come not, on, fam. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not getting locked up, guys. Fuck it. I'll take the, I'll take the fucking cool route and the good route. I'll stay cool. I'll stay cool, cooler than the other side of the pillow, dog. Cause I'm me. I like to smoke weed whenever I want. I like to uh, eat food, good food whenever I want. I know niggas is getting like certain meals in there and shit, whatever and all that. But that still ain't cool to me. That's you know? un- under somebody else's schedule and control, fam. Yeah. You can't just go in the fridge say, you know what? I'm just gonna make a quick a do a quick grill something fast and yeah, like, go just munch those, that in front of TV. Right? Like, like nah, those, fam. Those That's privileges wanted, getting taken, like I rather nah, dog. But uh, you see, this <laughs> I just know I'm a, I'm I'm a real nigga, so I'm gonna stay. I'm not gonna get myself involved. Mm. You know what I mean? If I know my niggas is over there doing some fuckery or not, I don't even call it fuckery. Survival, survival tactical skills that they got a, they they've been placed with and gift gifted with. Yeah, my nigga, and I'm not gifted with those talents like them. I'm gonna stay in my place. You understand? Yeah. I'm gonna stay in my lane. I know I can't do that, but I know I can. I can do this, so I'm. A, I'm gonna stick to that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and that the hardest niggas respect me for that. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm one of them niggas they can call when when they in those type of ruts. Because yeah. I'm, I'm here on the road and I stay to myself and I stay, you know, positive and I stay clean. And I say, yo, I, if I see a hundred niggas of mine have been to the bingo hall for fuckery, for even things they did, didn't commit, all that, bro, I'm definitely not making the same mistakes you guys are making. Yeah. I don't care what you want to call me. Call me a bitch. Bitch gets to live to fuck another day. Call me a chicken. <laughs> chicken gets to live to to run another day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to no, stick man. to them that that code right there. You know what I'm saying? And no, man. Freedom is cool. That's, that's, very cool. <laughs> that's like, that's, that's what I'm going to do. We should we close that shit with. Freedom is the cool thing. Freedom is very Being cool. on road is what's cool. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, being able to see your friends and, and talk to you, your peoples them anytime, very cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. Yeah, man. For any of y'all youths out there who are trying to get into anything or who's thinking of anything, fam, just think about how cool it feels to be in your yard and how yeah. good your bed feels. Yeah. In comparison to the things that you the, the, your decisions could lead you up to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? One thing. Imagine your first day in, they bunk you with the craziest white guy. <laughs> See a swastika tattooed on his Standing, chest. And then when you come in, he had his <laughs> back turned. Right he turns around. He's cross-eyed. His tongue is split. And he has all tattoos all over. And he's like, nigger. Like something. Nigger. You know what I mean? And just like, boom, they lock the shit. And he just has your blood all over the wall. And mm -hmm. he fucking writes your name with it. Think of it like that. Like that's what yeah. your chances could be. You might not get the best bunk. You, yeah. you might not get the best celly. Might get a real madman. I've all seen right. some niggas get crushed. Madman. Um, we love hip hop. Hip -hop.